Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VIII. Hi, I'm Rufal, having a look around for you. Woo! So, we are facing north. Apparently there's nothing. Off to the west, we have the ocean we came from. Over to the south, nothing. So, we're just going, so we'll have to head east into the Great Salt Lake. No, not the one in Utah. That's what this thing is called. The Great Salt Lake bed, perhaps. It seems such a wonderfully sparse city. What's that, Selfie? You don't see the city? I see the city. Do you see the city? Yeah, idea's right. It's going to be a bit of a trip involved. That's the spirit Zell. Now, now, Adia, don't go raining on everyone's parade. Yeah, I know your situation is kind of dire with Ultimicia and all, but... Yeah, we know what to do. Um, you'll be happier that way, Selfie. <laughs> Quiet. The air is getting heavy. What's wrong? We'll all be together. We're gonna bring back Renoa. It'll be like a picnic. We'll have fun. That squall has our words of encouragement. Don't mention bad things. They might come true. It's a silly stu superstition, but we'll believe. But for now, we'll believe it and just not talk about it anymore. But at this point, she'll choose our party. Zell and Quistus are already set up, so that's who we're gonna go with. Aha! Well, they are mostly set up, but let's get to a part that has some actual music. There we go. Now then, what did I forget to set up? Not too much, really going to set up the recover ability because that will come in handy. So will Spirit. But for Quistus, I want you to have level down and level up equipped. The specific reasons for that is, is because a monster we can find around here, more specifically a lefty, it's called that because it's a, it is a left hand, uh, that has a lot of spells that we can draw. Namely, Quake, and Regen, and Bio, but we can also draw drains from it, which is useful. Now, there's two paths through the Salt Lake. We can take the lower path, or we can take the high path. The high path is actually, I think, a little bit shorter, and it's the only one that has any draw points along it. Well, there's Lefty, Righty, and Visage. Hooray! What level is our Lefty? Ah, it's a high level one. That's useful. However, before we get started drawing from Lefty, we're gonna wanna shut it up. Well, that missed, so, uh... Yeah, Lefty is the spellcasting hand, and it has a lot of spells at its disposal. And some of them can be pretty frightening. The right hand is just gonna try and slap us around a bit. I really want Lefty to Lefty silenced. Any good? This can work. Oh, good golly. Slow down. Ah. 
Christus, you keep working on Visage. Ah, there it goes. Hooray! Now we can get rid of the other two. I should have known. Get out of here, punk! We're gonna have Lefty around for a while while I draw spells, so... I will sacrifice all the silence to shut you up. Alright! quickly get rid of Ridey and just in case just in case it can cast a Suna. <laughs> that protect is doing work. Ah there it goes. You might be wondering where Drain is. Well the short answer to that is that we're going to have to cast level down on this thing. Because it's it's presently at its uh, higher level cap. It's a 30, it's a level 30 plus. Yeah, Meteor, it has some scary spells. <laughs> Either way, I will bring you back after drawing time is over. All right, that'll do it. I'll just get rid of Lefty here. This lower level Lefty. <laughs> oh, still can't use your spells. Christus, kill it. The dot. All right. Lefty wasn't worth that much experience, but that's not what matters. Reducing, raising, or lowering a, an enemy's level does not affect the amount of AP we get from them. It only affects the experience count. But! Now that we've gotten some spells, let's actually do some spell management. Since we have a hundred quakes on everybody, we no longer need Demi because Quake is just better than Demi in all, on all fronts. Except maybe when used as an actual damage spell, but who uses their magic for that? <laughs> uh. Alright. Now for some actual exchange stuff. Alright. Anything else I need to toss around while I'm here? No, I don't think so. Alright, we shall continue walking. Now, of course, it would actually be of value to me to, uh, to act what am I trying to say? It would be of value for me to run into another lefty. That way I could draw the rest. That way I could actually top off my drains. But more importantly, Cerberus would get enough AP to find to finish learning that speed junction. But as useful as that would be, I'm not going to. I'm not going to purposefully wander around looking for one. You finish learning that. You keep doing your thing, you keep doing your thing. All right. 
A summer path, I think it's actually shorter than the lower path. The lower path would have, well, landed us on the lower path. But, uh, as I, as I had mentioned, there would not be draw points along it. But this particular screen is actually fairly long, so... It's like, it's kind of difficult to say which path is, is really the shorter one. As with regard to running into monsters, the lower, the lower path takes less time because, well, we don't have to make this jump over here. So the lower path takes less takes less time, but it's longer, so you might run into another encounter. I guess. Oh well. So I'll continue making our way to the city. Over here to the right, we have a save point. Which I think I might use just for kicks. Uh, let me actually take a look at Adia's stats. Magic 28. So, what's your magic unjunction? 16. Hmm. Uh, I think I'm going to... I'll actually do this. We'll actually bring Adia into the into the group. Only temporarily. Let's see. Junctions. Junction the magic. Where did Flare run off to? Aha! Oh, clear back at page eight. Hey, man. Oh, I think I, I think I may have hit the wrong button for my, my magic, uh, for sorting my magic, and it's gotten me all kerfuffled. Put that there. And. Then we'll actually... Let's rearrange this properly. Restore attack. <laughs> Alright, there's what I'm looking for. So now we'll actually re rearrange this properly. Now, if I can meh... If I can wrangle it against... Uh, against the, uh, the boss, the upcoming boss, then you hold on to that, then we will be able to draw flares out of it. I might not be able to, but I have a backup plan in case such be ends up being the case. Adia's flares. But that's that's also kind of why I wanted Adia in the group. She's just flat out better with magic than Zell is. And it'll give us the opportunity to actually see her see her in combat on our side. But you know. Actually now that I think about it. He is not going to be in the group long, so let's actually junction her abilities for survival. And we might even get to see her limit break. Hooray! I almost sound like I know it. I planned it all along. But no matter. Alright, now's the point where we really want to prep for, for the upcoming boss. Uh, Spirit 20 is okay. Just 
Junction magic! You want to be protected against silence and confusion. Cell doesn't have much of an option. Er, Squall doesn't have much of an option. Now, as far as an attack goes, conjunction that with fire or or holy, but I have something better in mind. See, alright, did you? I need you. There's your silence. It ran away. Right. We'll switch this for level up. And we are ready to go. So let's come kind of say hi to the boss. Hello, sir. It's an undead monster. Use recovery related stuff. Ow! Oh! You're just high enough level because Idea is higher level. Excellent! I don't have to. I don't have to actually worry about messing with level up and level down. Because my previous experiences, it doesn't seem to work on bosses, but. Whatever. Should have just used your cover on it, yeah, but, uh. No matter! Against this boss, he actually has some really incredible magic and, magic and physical defense. And. Well, while he's able to inflict some status effects on us, as I'm sure you can notice, we can draw Asunas out of him, so that's not too much of a bother. But while he's in his attacking stance, he has less defense, but that doesn't really mean we can hit him that hard. Especially not compared to how... Uh, how well he hits us. But while he's while the boss is squatting like this, he he uses his physical attacks, which also involves cursing the party. Or he can stand tall, which shoots his defenses out the roof. It's amazing. Now. As heavy of a hitter as Squall is, he'll probably only do two digits worth of damage. But it's while he's standing tall that he that he uses his more annoying attacks. Namely, silence and confusion. See if he'll actually bust any out before I I uh, walk away to draw spells. <laughs> Blind. I'm the guy who's guaranteed to hit anyway. Well done, sir. Oh well, silence is the bigger bugbear anyway. Find confusion. Yeah, there it is. I do enjoy the animation of that one. <laughs> but I'm gonna draw my spells and then we'll rip this guy down. One moment. No, I'm just now realizing I had forgotten to prep for the 40 AP that this guy will be worth. And. I also stole a power risk from him. Which is better than the flare stones that he would have given me otherwise. But yeah, we can't do much too much damage to him, so 
We'll just abuse the fact that he's undead. One. <laughs> and two. Away with you, sir! I'll heal you to death! Take that! You gain no experience and a whole bunch of AP which I let go to waste. Because I didn't prep my GS for the 40 AP. Oh well. At the very least, Cerberus has his speed junction. So at least there's that. Speaking of... Let's see, what's going on with you two? Blinded, blinded, right. I'll actually leave you blind. It doesn't matter that much. Junction magic. Finally, the party will all go at the same pacing. <laughs> We're similar enough anyway. Alright. Oh yeah, that's what else I need to deal with. Do that more in preparation of uh, switching up, switching stuff away from, from her. Excellent. Oh, and tell the GS what to learn now. <laughs> There's always something, isn't there? I would rather have you learn that. You're good. You're good. Good to go, you! Start getting these other junctions. Become useful! Excellent! And! With, uh... With Alexander's high magic refinement, we can refine more spells! Kind of. Really, our only options with our current spell list is turning doubles into triples, and arrows into tornadoes. Which we will do. So you don't have spells because the Dia's got them. Excellent! Let us move forward! Going to find! What's all this then? There appears to be something here. Whoa. Oh, I guess this is our way forward. Hold Renoa, make sure she doesn't fall off. Alright, now that we are to this part, we'll actually switch all this all these spells away from Idea. Now we'll give him to Selfie. Wait a second. Brain, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> Gazelle still needs the magic. I'm gonna make sure that worked the way I want it to. Excellent. Because if Dia... If Dia eventually leaves the party, and when she does, she takes whatever spells in her inventory with her. They're just gone, so, uh... Don't lose anything important. Time to think of it, I have a little bit more magic sorting to do, but it can wait. Oh, 
I don't know. Oh. Now we're really moving. Hopefully to progress. We don't know what's going on. We don't know if we'll get there. But who cares? What's important is that we are moving forward. There'll be no turning back. The game likes to make us think at this point that we could... That, uh... That we can, uh... Um... That we can actually talk to our companions and get different responses, but... No. There's your fire spells. Alright, Selfie, you've got the other flares. And they're going to Renoa. Alright. Now that that bit of maintenance is out of our way, we can wait. Yeah, we actually can't talk to our companions. Can't do really do anything. But wait for things to happen. Is that it? It looks that way. There appears to be a door. So what do you think, Quistus? I don't know how to turn this thing around, so... We move forward. Either that or we sit there and wait. Oh, there's the city. Yay! Yes, what is this? Um. Oh gosh, it's a roller coaster. Where's the handrail? Standing precariously close to the edge. <laughs> well, it certainly is a technologically advanced city. And we have arrived. Stay alert, there might be hostility next time, because, well, it would seem we have a trip to the dream world first. Until then, later.